Okay, wait, that looks crooked. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jolene, and if you've been here before, you obviously know my name. So thanks for coming back and supporting me and watching my videos. It really means so much to me. So if you like all my other videos, please make sure you give them a thumbs up and this one too and subscribe to my channel. It feels really good to be standing here with my clothing rack. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've done a video like this, so I'm excited to do one today. And all the pieces that are hanging here are, and the ones that I'm wearing, other than the biker shorts, but this um, crew neck is from Petal and Pup. So thank you so much for sending over these pieces. I'm doing like a fall inspired um, styling of these pieces and you've probably seen a few of them on Instagram because I actually wore some of them when we went to our went on our trip to Chicago. So I'll pop in a couple photos here if you haven't seen them. And then also I just put up our Chicago vlog. So go ahead and check that out as well. I'm really excited to style these. I'm gonna add in a few other pieces that are not from Petal and Pup just so I can show you like a full outfit and how I would style them. Oh, before I forget too. I'm gonna also be doing a fall closet clean out. You know that like feeling when you just literally cannot fit another piece of clothing in your closet or in your drawers. I'm literally experiencing that right now and it feels like just like a million pounds on my shoulders. So I need to do this. Going into fall and winter, I need to do a fall closet clean out. So I'm gonna show you guys that and I'm probably gonna expose myself on how insane my closet looks right now. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, enough talking. Let's just get into it. I'm wearing the first piece, which is literally the softest, coziest crew neck ever. And I like that it's white. I don't really have um, a lot of white sweatshirts. And this one's cute, it says Los Angeles on it. It's like an oversized fit, so you can like wear it cropped up. You can like do a little bra tuck with it if you want. Wear it with biker shorts, wear it with jeans, whatever. It's so comfy. I wore it on the plane. I loved how cozy it felt the whole time. And I'm also going to link everything down in the description with my sizing. Next up is this oversized blazer. And I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm obsessed with blazers. And this one is so good. It's like thick, but not too thick. And it's the perfect oversized look. This got like a ton of love on Instagram when I posted it from Chicago and I just think it fits so well. I had these biker shorts on already with this tank top and I think this is a really cute look. Little ton of shoes on with it. Oh, and it ha has like shoulder pads in it too. So it gives it a nice um, structured look. This is how I styled it in Chicago. I have the same sneakers on and these are my favorite denim shorts. They're Levi's and they carry them at Revolve and then this baseball cap that I got from Urban Outfitters. This is like a perfect fall look. You can obviously, if it's a little bit colder where you live, wear jeans, like just blue denim jeans and get like a similar look. I'll probably do that when it gets colder here. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I will be getting a lot of use out of this blazer. The next piece is this really nice coat in this pounds tooth print and it's just such a nice coat i think that this is these are po real pockets i'm not sure i'm excited to wear this obviously it's still a little bit too hot here so i think this will be more of a winter piece for me but i can see myself wearing this in like new york in the fall the print it's really really pretty this is kind of like yeah i think you can see it here it's like a brown tone that goes throughout ah! I love this sweater. My gosh, it's so cute. It's very chic and I love it. It's like the perfect, it's actually really thick material. So it is warm, which is amazing. But look at the back details. This bow that you can do in the back and it's open. So it's like a little breeze in the back but keeps you so warm. It has a little mock neck. And then the balloon sleeves at the bottom adds another elevated element to just a plain turtleneck sweater and then i just paired it with 
my most worn skirts from Princess Polly. And then I paired it with these boots. So chic, so easy. And then also I thought it would be cute if you wanted to add like a front detail, you can bring the straps around the front and then do like a little bow detail on the front as well. So this can be styled multiple ways. If you think it's like cute with a little, I don't even know if that looks cute right now. But then it just adds like a little kind of waistband element and just like slims the waist too. I'm gonna be sweating <laughs> right now with all of this on. <laughs> this is so cute. Like, I feel like I should be walking through Central Park with this outfit on. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned that this is my first time trying Petal and Pup stuff out. So this is like a very first try on haul review, how it fits me. The quality is amazing and the pricing is pretty good too. I love this coat, love this sweater. This will definitely keep me warm in the winter. These are all wins for me so far. The last two pieces, this top, that has like the cinching detail on the sides and then like the scoop neck. I normally love these tops a lot for any like occasion. I love that they're very easy to throw on. They make any outfit look like, chic and elevated. So it's nice for like a nice dinner or I don't know, I don't work in an office where I would like dress like this, but um, potentially maybe with a blazer over or something you could wear this for work i feel like this is a very work inspired look right now i also have these neutral trousers on and i got them in an extra small and they're actually pretty tight on my waist like i can get them on but they feel like i definitely cannot eat lunch in these yeah so i think they're slightly too small on me and just like not the perfect fit for me because they are very long but i can obviously get them hemmed uh, but I would definitely size up one size in these because they're pretty tight in the waist. Everywhere else fits good. I feel, I feel like they look good on like the booty area and everything. And then I also thought that this top was like a champagne, like kind of cream color. And it's more of a baby pink. I don't really love like wearing pink or I don't think pink looks good on my skin tone. They're nice pieces and they're really well made, but just not perfect for me. That's all of the pieces from Petal and Pup. I hope you guys liked that little mini haul and got some ideas on how to style some fall pieces. So now I am going to really expose myself and show you my closet and we're going to do a closet clean out. I literally have not done this in so long. It's very overdue. So let's just get into that because it's probably going to take me a lot of hours and I won't make you guys watch the whole thing, but I'll put clips in there of me cleaning it out and like some of the final product. Maybe I'll have to do a second video for this because I have a feeling it's going to take a while. I'm also going to do my drawers and my dresser too because those literally cannot close anymore. It's very, very stressful for me getting clothes in and out. It's just a little chaotic right now. So I think it'll feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders once I get through this. Okay, you guys, I'm genuinely scared to show everyone my closet, but here we go. Basically, this is just like a mess. It's like bags and hats and shoes and more bags and umbrellas and just like random crap. I literally do not know. It used to be organized and then some one day it was just not organized anymore. So I think I'm just going to start with this because it's scary. And then it gets a little crazy because <laughs> there's this is a weird closet. I don't know. There's like a hook in the front or a, a rod across here. And that's where Ryan puts most of his clothes and then in that closet, the closet in the spare bedroom. So his clothes are here, which is kind of annoying because my clothes are also behind it. So it's kind of hard. I have to like move everything. It's not set up great for me. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> this is our shoe situation. And then ugh, just like don't even look at our laundry situation right now. That's bad. This is the closet. Everybody please do not judge us. This is not cute. We need some organization help going on in here. This is all a no for me. I'm just gonna get started. These are like all my lack of color hats and stuff which it's very sad to say that I do not wear them anymore, but I also don't want to get rid of them because I spent a lot of money on them. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet. It's going to go with the other hats. I feel like I just need to take everything out and like put it together so that I can do something with it. 
you guys have any organization tips, let me know. I read a few things. I already know like some things from cleaning out my closet like every season, but if you have any more organization tips that you want to share, I'd love to know. Clearly, I don't have the best organization skills in this closet. Basically, if I haven't worn anything or used something for like three to six months, I'm gonna make a pile to either donate it or put it on Poshmark. And then I actually screenshot like a random quote and I wanted to read it. I can't even remember what it was. Oh, this was a very interesting thing that I wanna test out. So preparing for like next year, to stay on top of your wardrobe, a great way to continue keeping up with getting rid of things you should is to flip all of your coat hangers in your closet in the opposite direction at the beginning of the year. Every time you wear something, swap it to face the other way. Then at the end of the next year, you'll be able to clearly see the things you haven't touched and can more easily justify getting rid of them without any debate, which I have never heard of doing that, but I think that's interesting. I don't know if Ryan will be very good at that because he's just like, if you can tell, this is just crazy. And I want to try it out because it's probably so true. And it would be interesting to see what I wear and don't wear. What the heck? Ryan won these for me when we went to our very first fair together. So I'm like, I don't really wanna get rid of them, but I also am like, what the heck am I doing with these things? Should I keep them? Because they're sentimental, should I get rid of them? Maybe I'll put them like in a bin in the garage so they can still keep them, but they're not in the way. I need to take them out of the closet. They're just, make me think of that moment when we first started dating seven years ago. The shelf is cleared. It's actually better than I thought, and I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. So that's progress. I think I'm going to go through my shoes now. A lot of these I actually still wear, like the ones at the bottom I feel like I still wear. So hopefully this goes well and I actually do get rid of stuff. I'm keeping these boots. Um, these can go and I'm gonna sell them. They're Dolce Vita and they're super old and I was obsessed with these for so long. Like, I don't even know how many years ago. Like, at least five years ago. The fact that I still have them is not good. Okay, these were a thrift find when I went to Coachella in, I think, 2015 or 16. And I was, like, so excited that they had them at the thrift store. They were in my size and they're Doc Martens, and I got them for like $50, which was amazing, but I do not wear them now. Like, I just won't wear these. So these are gonna go on Poshmark, because I definitely know they'll resell, and they're in very good condition still. Okay, wait, I'm actually proud of myself for that. This is looking much better. I got rid of a good amount of shoes. So now they're all on this little shelf right here. And then my slippers, I wear those every day. So I have them right in the front. This is the chaos at the moment. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start like pulling things out in sections and then putting them on the bed so I can like see it better. All right, I'm just gonna do like one pile is what I'm gonna keep. And then one is that I'm going to Get rid of. So I think I'm gonna keep, this is the one that I'm gonna get rid of and then I'll move the stuff that I'm gonna keep over here. You guys know I can't get rid of my blazers. I love them and they're the best for fall and winter. something that I want to do which I obviously don't have enough of them at the moment to do but to get rid of these plastic hangers and literally just have these felt um, with the metal hanger because they take up so much less room and I've seen that so many times on like blogs of closet cleanouts. 
So that will be on my list of things I'm gonna order from Amazon. I've got to get these off of hangers. See, it's kind of pulling. I don't want it to get ruined. So if you have your sweaters hanging up, I read to take them off and put them in a drawer. <laughs> Hey you guys, here's an update of kind of where we are now, now that I've like gone through all my stuff, gotten rid of things, which this is scary. I'm genuinely scared. This is the pile for Poshmark. So that should be really fun for me. All the clothes for Poshmark, hats for Poshmark, bags for Poshmark, and then shoes to go on Poshmark. And then this is Goodwill right here. Obviously, it's not, you know, perfect. I'm not obsessed with it, but this is what we're working with now. It looks way, a million times better. So I have all my hats here, bags up here. I want to get some, like, organization bins for that stuff so it stays more organized. I have my blazers right there. I have more blazers, but my newer stuff is on my clothing rack in there. So this is not everything. And then I have like jackets, sweaters, like long sleeve t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, like cropped top type um, shirts. Then I have my dresses, skirts, um, shorts, uh, pants here, like trouser pants. And then I put all of Ryan's like button up shirts here, long sleeve type of jacket button ups, golf shirts, work shirts and then his like work blazers and pants are up there and then our shoes are much more organized now what i need to tackle is these drawers so let's get started on that this is my underwear drawer which now has clothes in it from other drawers because I have run out of room in those drawers. That's when you know you have to get rid of things. I want to get like those clear plastic dividers too for this drawer because I think that's like so helpful for keeping your underwear kind of in place because right now it's just thrown everywhere and it's not it. It does not stay organized at all no matter how many times I organize it. it just gets crazy very quickly this is the drawer that's a little crazy because it's <laughs> i can't even close it and it's all of my like crop top tank tops so that's what i want to put in the closet now that i have all that space so that i can switch my sweaters into these drawers and have these hung up instead so that's what i'm going to do now <laughs> the drawers are finally complete I have like all my sweaters rolled up in here my workout clothes are all organized and folded and then all the tops are rolled up in the back jeans are flat and laid like that I have all like my pajama comfy clothes rolled up in here and here I have lots of sweat sets these are denim shorts and skirts. This is like my underwear and bra drawer. Socks. Bathing suits. This is the finished closet. I think it looks so much better. I feel a million times better having all of this organized. I switched out all of the hangers. So they're all of the metal hooked hangers here. And then I switched out on got rid of all of the teal colored hangers that I've literally had since college which I cannot believe I've not gotten rid of those yet but now Ryan's stuff is organized he hasn't he still needs to go through his stuff so I didn't go through and get rid of any of his but I just organized it a little bit more and then any extra hangers are up here which this is bothering me it's not <laughs> it's not flat against the wall okay that's better but yeah, looks, I can actually see in the closet. This is crazy. And then this is the scary part. 
all of this stuff down here. I'm going to donate um, all the hangers that we had. Like, why do we have so many hangers? I do not know. And then stuff over there. So this is all Goodwill right here. And then this is the scary pile of Poshmark stuff that I'm going to try to tackle. So wish me luck on that. It is now literally about to be dark. The sun is setting very quickly, which cannot believe that it set so early now, but I'm starving. I need to eat dinner <laughs> and I need to do something else other than clean, but that felt really good. I had to set aside time to do that. It's been on my mind for actually months. So I felt like fall was perfect time to do it. So hopefully this motivated you, inspired you to do a closet clean out of your own. It just feels so good and feels like a weight is lifted off of my shoulder now. I feel so much lighter. It's crazy, but I'm going to end the video now. This was seemed like a long one. Hopefully once I edit it, it's not so crazy. But thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and watching today's video. And let me know what other ideas you have for other videos. This is like such a random one, but I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go for it. And I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.